Hi everybody, welcome to what is a very risky video. Uh, I think I'm going to shoot this in one take so you know that I'm not cheating. No editing, no nothing, just the video. Um, Sarah's gone on her Instagram stories and asked her audience to send some very juicy questions my way. So Sarah's in charge, I have to answer what comes my way. That's what happens. Over to you. So we're starting with some nice ones okay. rather than like really juicy. Fine. That might cause rows. Okay. <laughs> um, I had this one quite a lot. So what do you think I'm going to wear for the wedding? The wedding dress, obviously. Like, yeah, but they're saying what, uh, what will my dress look like? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be like cotton ball. Big fluffy thing. Okay. Um, but then I don't think it's going to be super slinky and like, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. No, because sometimes you wear things like this, which are very sleek, but you also love like a puffy, ruffly shoulder. I do love a puff sleeve. So I don't, I actually genuinely don't know. I, I, I think whatever you wear will be a surprise to me. Is there any preference? I mean, it's too late. It's too late to now. No, I'm not, I'm not, it's not answer any question, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you what Shall I don't want to see. Speaking of wedding dresses, and I'll make this snappy if you're not editing. I posted on my stories yesterday about how it's been really weird because it's such a big thing, the dress, and we share so much about like purchases or what do you think of this outfit? And I've not been able to share it with you. And I said, oh, I thought that was weird. And quite a few women replied and said that they felt it was so odd and they just wanted their husbands to like what they wore, that they actually went shopping with their husbands rather than their mums and their husbands picked the dress. Some traditions are a bit strange. Mm. Mm. Anyway, on to the next. Oh, this is quite I've juicy. got a stress ball, by the way, because I'm actually feeling... This is quite juicy. <laughs> Do you have any reservations about having your child so public and identifiable, and will you always show her face? Um, it, it all depends. It actually all depends on you guys, basically. Um, as long as... So, what I love, I was saying to this Sarah just the other day, my community, so our community on the internet, are really, really, truly lovely. Social media has changed a lot in the long time I've been doing it, <clears throat> and it's not always pleasant anymore. It can be a negative place. It can be full of hate. Uh, for every uh, negative comment I get, genuinely I get a thousand positive. Whenever I share Margot, it's joy. As soon as that stops, that's done. Like I value her. I value her happiness and her contentment and her safety more than anything else. So as soon as um, I feel like, um, you know, that tide starts to change and I'll just stop sharing her. I would gladly quit this job, um, stop doing it entirely, if it meant her quality of life would be better, basically. On to the next. What do you feel is key to a marriage? Trust. Um, trust. Basically, obviously, like there's more than that. Other. Yeah, there's actually more. There, there is a bit more than that because obviously I trust my friends, but I'm not marrying my friends. But I think for any relationship, you have to have. For for me, um, I will trust someone once. As soon as that trust is broken, you, you just cannot win it back. And I'm, I am, I like to think that in generally in and life. And that's the key. That is the cornerstone. It's the core. I think it's the cornerstone of pretty much any relationship. See, to me, I think the cornerstone. Obviously, trust is important, but I think a cornerstone is to have the same values, and then you go from there. For sure, but I mean, you, we can. I would like to assume that having the same values means that there's trust involved. Because if we have the same values, I'm not going to deceive you because we're on the same page. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't know. It's, it, there's more to it than that, but I think for me, I'm quite black and white when it comes to trust. I, if I, I will trust someone until I don't, and then that's it. I'm done. You can't be quite cut through. Right? Mm. People think I'm like all sunshine and lollipops and I'm very, I, I like to think I'm a positive person. Um, I'm, it takes me a long time, I've got a very long view, so it takes me a long time to lose my temper. It takes me a long time to... You are like the nicest, you are the world's nicest man until you're not. <laughs> and then you're like, I'm just not going to be nice to you anymore, you've pushed me too far. I, I have a, a list of people in my life that I've just cut off. And I don't need to explain it to them. I don't need closure. I don't need um, to to get my my.
thoughts down, I just go right down and I just, just move on and I just stop talking to them. On to the next. Yes. Oh, this was a nice one. Honestly, I added this just because I wanted some compliments in my life. Okay. <laughs> what is your favourite thing about me? There's not one favourite thing about you. You're a really good human being. You're my second favourite human being. And you've only been superseded by the person that we she made together. She spoils everything, doesn't like, she? There's, there's not one thing, is there? It's, it's, like, it's like saying, what's your favourite thing about Margot? can't choose one thing. Currently it's, it's how juicy she is. No, but the sum of your parts is much more than any individual thing and I think that's magnificent, right? Having one thing is not enough. I could think that you're the most kind person on the planet, or the most beautiful person on the planet, but that's not enough to warrant an entire relationship. You need to like the whole package. Okay. Well, well, this that... was a good one. <laughs> the fa favourite person or people that you still relate to most out of the old 2012-2014 vlog gang? Um, Is that the Brit, Brit, that'd be, yeah, Brit yeah, crew? Yeah, the old schoolers. Uh, Alfie and Zoe, because they're in a very similar part of life to Sarah and I right now, and that they've got, I mean, Ottilie's what, six days older than Martin, mm. isn't it? Um, I've always got um, a place for Joe in my life too. Joe's just a lovely human being. They're all really lovely, you know. Um, I thought you were going to say Louise because I love Louise to pieces. I love Louise. Actually, I, I probably speak to Louise more than any of the others. She's just like a big ball of positivity. Yeah. Every time you see her, she's just so. But she's very much joyous. like me in this world as well, because because the, the 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 jobs we have and the career that we have, and it's very easy to to get a bit of an ego. Louise is like me, and it's like it's a job. It's a really cool job. It's really lovely. Do you think she'd mind if I tell everyone when we first met, when I first met her in lockdown on what? FaceTime what when happened? she just randomly FaceTimed you and it was because I can't remember who she was she was complaining about something and then she went, Oh no, I don't want people to what if someone sees my phone? I'm gonna FaceTime instead and then it turned out actually she was just a bit pissed and was and it was like her and her husband and we we'd also had a few drinks because like lockdown life but then we were all just like having a bit of a yeah. drink and a face she, she, she's a very good egg though she's got a very kind soul um and i just really appreciate her attitude to this job but existing in general it's it, she doesn't take anything too seriously i like it what's the best thing that happened to you apart from me and margo um Obviously, I didn't add. Me. Um, that yeah, was I know. Question. I'm a bit more philosophical now. I don't think you happened to me. I don't think Margot happened to me. I think it was all, um, you know, you, you didn't like come and save me. We worked together. We to worked hard on this. Yeah, we worked together to make a really good relationship. But like, you know, I don't think it just happened. And actually, I think, I mean, stuff does happen to people. Obviously, you know. Uh, You're giving such deep answers. I'm a deep like, person. Just be like, when I went to this place, it was the best thing ever. Uh, okay. When I did this job. I don't know then. I can only give deep answers. I don't know if it's just a quick answer. I don't know the answer to that. The best thing that's ever happened to me. Your sister's being pixie woo, so then you did this job and now you're no longer miserable working, which you didn't like. <laughs> Thanks, Sam and Nick. Uh, I don't know. No, you're not editing this. No, I'm not editing this, no. Oh, no. So that's it. Um, I don't know. The best thing that's ever happened to me. I think it's yet to come. I mean, I'll, I'll, I guess obviously Margot kind of happened to me in a way because although we work at it, you weren't allowed to use Margot's now. Oh, I wasn't allowed. Yeah, to, fine. I'm sure it's yet, it's yet to come. I'm sure then. When did you know you wanted to marry me? Early on, actually. Hang on, I'm just going to check the time. We've been going for oh nine minutes already. Blimey. Okay. Um, early on. Yeah. Uh, I can't think specifically how early on. But I was talking to my friend about making your ring fairly early. Um, it's all into such a blur though, because the pandemic and because like it's, mm. we almost had like a condensed relationship because we moved in together and then the pandemic happened and like everything just was like, it just time seemed to, we have much more time together um, than I think we would have had. Have we not been forced into Yeah, when we first got together, you were still working and like traveling quite a lot. Right. And I would see you like two or three times a week right. and then you were off somewhere. And then suddenly the pandemic happened and 
we just lived together. Right. I mean, we, you'd moved in before then, but but it was... You were so still going about quite a lot and out and right. about, though. Right. But then suddenly you're just forced to have a lot of time together. I think it kind of made or break a lot of, um, a lot of relationships. Mm. What do you find most frustrating about me? Um, when we argue, just impossible to get a point across to. I think that's the same about you. Just, and, and sometimes you just throw things at actually, me no, that's and not see, what... and just go, that, that seemed to do a bit of damage, I'll stick with that one, and actually it's not even relevant to the argument. Actually, that's what I find the most annoying about you. What? Although really it's more... Is it about who's? No, no. Right. <laughs> it's, it's, because you're quite like OTD, and I find that quite like I'm not hard OCD, to I'm deal particular. with because then, and obviously it's not like it's a reflection of you, not me. But then I feel like I'm dirty or something because you're there like tidying up behind me. Yeah, but you literally just took the bin down and then went, "Can you change the bin?" I went, "Yeah, I'll put the new bin bag in in a minute." And then you came back. It's because I had stuff. And you asked me three more times. Like, I'm going to do it. I just have to do it right this second. That's because I had stuff specifically. I needed to put in the bin. But yes, I am hygiene and cleanliness and order <laughs> are important to me. Um, how many more? Two more, because we okay. are now at 11 minutes. Okay, do a snog marry a boy oh, yeah. or female celebs? Well, don't, I only have three. I can't pick out of random, from random, can I? You need to give me three. What about you ask me the next question and think about your three while I'm answering? I can't think of anyone now, I'm suddenly like... Yeah, but ask me the next all question. All I can think of is like sad things because I've been watching the telly and I'm not going to give you Olivia Newton-John because she's just died, but that's all I can think of because it was on the news. We're not having her because that's a bit, like, deep. It was Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to think. I feel so much pregnant pressure now. We can always skip it. No, 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 no. Um... Quick, last question. I'm not editing this and you, you're going to lose people. How many more children do you want? I'd like another one, please. Um, I think I wouldn't like more children than I've got hands. It's something that we say quite a lot. Um, and I really don't want Margot to be an only child. And I, just, I just really, really love that kid and I love being a parent. Um, and I want to... I think, if you, I, I think having more than one with our lifestyle and our jobs would be a bit stretched. Having two um, means that they're pals, um, and I've just got a lot of love to give. Yeah. You can ask me the celebrity one if you've forgotten. If you give me like a realm of people to think of, like this isn't like actresses. Alright, actresses. Okay. Um, Julia Roberts. Right. Reese Witherspoon. Right. Sandra Bullock. That's tough. Um, I'm going to marry Julia Roberts because um, she's just got the nicest smile and I just think isn't that she just looks like a really pleasant human being I think Reese Witherspoon looks like she'd be really homely she'd be really homely yeah yeah and who was the other one? Sandra Bullock <sighs> so I, I think oh no because Sandra Bullock is really funny okay unfortunately I'm going to have to kill Reese Witherspoon and I really really like her that's, that's not the outcome I would yeah, I really like her. I don't want to kill her, but I'm forced to. I'm going to marry... Actually, I'm going to marry Sandra Bullock because I just think she'd be wicked fun and I'm going to have to snob Julie Roberts. Well... There we go. Well... That's that. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Easy for me. I'm literally going to import this into my laptop and then just post it on the internet. So, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.